everyone and welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new to my channel nice to meet you I'm Sydney and I am kind of just going all over the place in this look today I was just kind of just using products that I have had that I have wanted for so long that I have not used like this Natasha Denona palette I have not touched this is the first time using it there was a little kit bag problems and stuff with this palette but it's okay I powered through it and I got it to work I finally got to use my cover FX yeah it's cover FX yeah um, that highlight uh, got to use my Anastasia lipstick for the first time and guys it is amazing I love it it's just not moving sorry I have glue on my hands from my eyelash <laughs> uh, but yeah if you guys want to know how I got this look just keep watching okay so the first palette we're going in is the Too Faced natural love palette and the shade we're going in with is this brown shade at the top and it's called nudie and I'm taking it on this Lorac brush I got it with a Lorac palette I do not remember the palette but I got it with a palette so nudie is going to be our transition color a good trick if you have hooded eyes like I do like hardcore hooded eyes keep your eye open and put your brush half and half where it folds and then the top part and then just go back and forth that way you can see the shadows more okay so the next palette we're going into is the um, ocean sunset by Lorac um, I there I wanted to use an orange but there was no orange in the Too Faced natural love palette so I have to go into this one and I'm using my Anastasia brush I got with my modern renaissance palette and I'm going in with um, horizon right here okay so now with this color I'm going to put it on my outer and inner corner and I'm gonna bring it up to the top until like where my lid folds over and then I'll stop there mm -hmm. okay so now going into the main palette for this tutorial it is the Natasha Denona palette and the it's palette number 10 and we're going to be using the purple and gold shades right here and on my if I can find my brush I'm going in with that purple shade I'm using my real techniques brush and the number 203 and I'm just going to keep this purple on my inner and outer corner Okay, so now for the middle color of my eye, I'm going in with this gold color on my MAC 242 brush. Yeah, 242. Now I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus, Fix Plus on my brush just to make that stay because it is kind of falling out. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Okay, so now for my brow bone highlight, I'm going in with MAC Nylon, my all-time favorite. So now we're going to do eyeliner, and I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. And is that how you say it? I'm going to do a winged eyeliner? Who knows? I'm going to do a winged. And I'm using the Maybelline uh, New York Eye Studio in the shade Black is Black. And I'm using my... I swear this said Anastasia. Oh, it did. It's just all gone. It's the number 12 brush. <laughs> so what I do is I just dip it in and get it just a little bit like wet. And what I do is with my eyes opened, I go from where my bottom, like where I can see it, where it ends. And then I just use that and then I flick upwards like that. And what you want to do is when you get closer to where you want your wing to end, you want to get softer and softer. So it gives that sharp effect so you're not cleaning up like crazy. So then I do the same exact thing on the other side just to make sure both sides are even because I cannot deal with uneven wings. And sometimes I like to use my pinky as an anchor for my hand because I just have natural shaky hands. So I don't want my eyeliner going all over the place. Then after that, I dip my brush back in there just a little bit more than I did the last time. And then I just pick wherever I want my eyeliner to start to connect with my eyes still open. And then when it needs to be closed, I close it. 
Then I go to the other side and do the same exact thing. And then I start to fill it in. All right, so now we're gonna move on to lashes and I'm going to coat my lashes in. What mascara am I going to use today? All right, so I'm going to use the Maybelline, this yellow one. I really don't know what the name is, but I think it's the Colossal Chaotic Lash, it's the Volume Express, so we're gonna use that to coat my lashes. Okay, so now for lashes, I'm just going to use my Ardell 120s again because I don't know the names to any of my other eyelashes and I kinda just wanna give y'all an idea of what I'm using. <laughs> And so I'm gonna put these on real quick and for my eyelash glue, I'm using the House of Lashes and I'm pretty sure they have a clear one. I have a green one. So yeah, that's what I'm using. So when I put these on, I'll be right back. So now we're going to move on to the face and I'm using this Bosha Saki Balm to moisturize my face and when that gets tacky and then I'll add on my next primers. Okay, so after I let that sit for a little while and just get real tacky and sticky, I'm going in with the Porefessional um, Minimizer. I don't know. Um, it just covers your pores and makes them look minimized. So I'm going to put that on my nose and then slightly blend it into my cheek. put it on my chin and then my forehead just the rest that was left on my hands because you know running low I'm just gonna use every inch of it <laughs> okay so now for foundation I'm going in with the fit me matte plus poreless uh, foundation and this is the shade 115 it's ivory and it's from Maybelline I felt like the sponge was just like soaking up too much of the product and so is the back of my hand so I'm just putting my finger on here and then putting some dots on my head face you know I feel like this foundation is very powder like I want to say but you know it could just be my sponge or it could work better with a brush so We'll keep going. I feel like this foundation makes my pores look tinier and it doesn't make them look bigger like some do. So I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and this is in the shade uh, Celestial. And I'm just going to put three drops where I would normally put highlight and then blend that in with my Beauty Blender. I remember when I found this in the store, we were in Houston, and I like ran to it like a child finding its favorite candy. It was hilarious. My mom laughed at me, guys. I'm pretty sure the store laughed at me. All right, so now for um, concealer, <laughs> went blank. I'm going on with the Tarte Shape Tape like usual in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to put some under my eye, my nose, my forehead and my chin oh let's get that and then I'm going in with my RCMA no color translucent powder and then I'm just going to put this everywhere I have my concealer so now while I let that sit I'm going to go in with my Hoola quickie contour stick and contour my face <laughs> So now with my Becca powder, I'm, it's in the Soft Light Blurring Powder, it's Golden Hour, and I'm going to place this all over my face, if I can get some powder out. I'm just going to place that everywhere. Okay, so now for contour powder, I'm going in with the Cheek Parade and with my Morphe Angled Brush, and I'm going in with Hoola and Hoola Light. Now I'm just going to set my eyes real quick with the Anastasia Brow Gel. 
Okay, so now we're going to move to the under eye portion of my video, and we're gonna use that purple on this flat brush that I normally use for my waterline. And I'm just gonna uh, leave this center right here. Sorry, I like lost track words. Um, I'm gonna use the center right here for that gold, so I'm just gonna leave that blank and then just put the purple on the inner corner and the outer corner. Does anybody else make those weird faces when you're doing the bottom? You're like, that's me. Always make the weirdest faces. So with that MAC 242 brush that I used for the gold, I'm going to use it again for the bottom, but I'm only going to get the tip of the brush dipped in there, you know, put the gold on, and I'm just going to place it in the center. And now I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with the same mascara I used in the beginning. Couldn't hold it for a second, guys. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Color Con, and this is in the shade Pearl Scent Pink on, as usual, my Morphe E4 brush. It is such a pretty coral color. I love it. Alright, so now for highlight, I'm going in with my Aurora Palette um, by Anastasia, and I'm going to use Luna right here, which is my favorite in the palette. I think I just like all white highlights. They're just so pretty because I'm so pasty, you know. Ugh, it's popping. Highlight is popping. Yeah, let's give it to me. <laughs> If you do not own any highlighting palettes and you want to own just one, please get this one. This one is amazing and it will rock your life. Like, it is freaking amazing, people. Okay? Alright, buy it. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so now for lips, I'm going in with the Anastasia. I think this is a, well, it's a liquid lipstick, so I'm pretty sure it's the matte one. And this is Catherine. So now I'm just going to set my face with the Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray and we'll be done. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I love doing it. It was just a fun kind of all over the place look and I just, it was fun. Um, the, for some reason when I touched these, they were like perfect and they did not move from my finger. But when I placed them on my eye, the purple was just, Every time I was blending it, it was just getting lost and it was just going away like it was never there. So I just figured out that the best way to, to work that purple was to just press it instead of blending it in, which was totally fine with me. And the gold just kept flaking everywhere. Like it's just all over my hands, it's all over my legs, my shirt. Like I had to keep wiping my hands off. But honestly, it's whatever. I still love the look and this lip is so pretty. It was the first time using it and... Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it, it's not. So, if you guys liked it or liked me, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you guys want to see anything else, just comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.